Hello, this is John. Welcome to the rev review with me. Today I'm going to be doing a beer review. If you watched my last review, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Got a little spiciness in my mouth from some hot ramen. So I want to cool down with a nice beer from America. So right here in front of me, we have the Surly brand. The Surly Brewery is from uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, they make a lot of good stuff. I had some sours, some stouts from them I really enjoyed. So really trust this brand. Hopefully this is another really good one. But this is the Surly Hashtag America uh, beer. And this is actually a um, American adjunct lager. Now, a lot of people have had this style. Budweiser is a style. Miller is a style. Coors is a style. This is the beer of America. Um, it's ma mainly used with uh, a lot of corn. Um, that's a grain that's very plentiful here in the Americas. Um, and that's they replaced the, the, a lot of the barley with the corn. I think there's still some barley in here. But uh, let me read you what's on the back of this can. It says, Surly Nation, tis for thee sweet beer of liberty. Oh, say can you see through these golden-hued pre-prohibition lager. When in the course of human events you need a beer for we, the people, this crisp, refreshing throwback will amend your constitution Declare your independence from ordinary beer and enjoy this sessionable lager across the fruited plain of the land of the free and the home of the brave. This is a 5% by uh, volume alcohol. So let's try this. There's a very light color coming out of there. I smell a lot of the sweet corn malt flavor that you get from an American adjunct. This is probably one of the most... Uh, patriotic beer cans I've ever seen. Nice red, white, and blue. It's got the Statue of Liberty up there holding a fizzy beer. You can see. It's got the eagle. Uh, under the eagle you see uh, like a George Washington type face also with a beer. It's the perfect beer if you want to pop a cold one with the boys. I think there's probably not enough room for the rest of this thing. So I'm going to take a few steps before I do that. As you can see, there's a very light, very clear color. Very reminiscent of a lot of the uh, American adjunct lagers. Let me get a Good close whiff. Yep, that's what it smells like. Kind of disappointed now. The, the color and the smell. Hopefully, that this is, is a better version of the cheap beers we get. This is like the flavor to me. I would I would, I would uh, describe it as if you took the flavor of a Budweiser or a Miller Genuine Draft or a Coors Banquet, that the not not the light ones, like the strongest regular flavors they have, 
and you took that up to 11. Just one more notch past where their top flavor is. This what That's what this tastes like to me. It's a, you can taste the, the corn malts in here. There's a little bitter after, after finish from it. Like, if they actually took a Budweiser and they put actual real hops in towards the end of it to give it a little bitter finish, this one has that. It's not a whole lot like an IPA, but definitely as the, the, the flavor washes over, you're left with a bitter finish. This would be a nice beer to bring to a barbecue. Um, if you have like people who aren't really into craft brew and you want to give them something just a little bit different but it tastes very similar to what they've had. This is a good one to try. Hashtag America beer from Surly. Um, as for a rating, I'm kind of disappointed. I wish it had more flavor to it. I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. It is definitely drinkable. Um, I don't mind having to finish it or share it with other people without embarrassment. But uh, just for my taste, I wish there was a little bit more flavor. And this is the beer for the people, by the people as well. Let's see if it has any other catchphrases on here. I don't think so. Oh, here's something on the bottom. All right. To live a happy, fulfilled life, there are certain places you must visit. Washington, D.C., the Grand Canyon, Wall Drug, and now the Surly Destination Brewery. So what are you waiting for? Come to the source. Hang out in our beer hall to sample our stubbornly original brews and expertly crafted food. Head up to our finer dining restaurant, Brewer's Table, where beer pairings and a stunningly original menu reimagine the beer and food experience, or just bring the dog, the kids, and your sunglasses to our enormous beer garden, where there's always room to enjoy pint with friends. While you can't live here, you can schedule an event at Shide Hall, the on-site event center. Big enough for weddings, receptions, corporate events, and private parties, and of course, you want to go behind the scenes with a brewery tour and up your fashion game with exclusive gear at the company store. Seriously, we have all that. Find us here, and it has the address. That's the Surly Brewery. You want the address? It's right there. Overall, I do like Surly Brewery. This is probably the most disappointing thing I've had from them. However, it's not bad. I will finish this. I'll uh, get some enjoyment out of it. And I hope you guys like this review. Let me know if you want more beer reviews. I think I have at least one, maybe two, coming up soon. But until then, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.